Hello and welcome to Going Inside the Voice, or rather Going Inside My Voice. You see, I have volunteered to have what's called an endoscopic video camera go up my nose and down the back of my throat in order to take a video of what's happening inside the larynx. Sounds disgusting? Yeah, it is pretty disgusting. So if you're feeling a little bit squeamish, now is a great time to turn off. But if you're still with us, you are about to see what I would regard as one of the most exciting areas of voice science, which is where we see what is actually going on inside the larynx as you make sound. And you'll see me doing both good sounds and also bad sounds in order that you can see the difference. So are you ready for this? Because we are about to go inside my voice through my nose. Now, I did blow my nose, didn't I? I think I did. And here the camera goes through the nose, it's going to get to the back and it's going to go downwards, trying to find the larynx, and yep, there it is. The vocal folds are beating together hundreds of times a second, far faster than the eye can see. So we're using stroboscopic light here, so you can see the individual vibrations. And let's freeze the video for a second. And in the centre of the photograph, with the green arrows, you'll see the true vocal folds. Now these beat together hundreds of times a second, creating sound. Either side of them, with the blue arrows, are the false vocal folds. Now these don't actually make sound, but they provide the tight valving function of the larynx every time you swallow or you need to push with the body. And they also help lubricate the true vocal folds. But in singing and speaking, they need to be firmly apart. Here we've slowed down the video to about a hundredth of the speed, so you can see the individual opening and closing of the vocal folds on each vibration. Oh, by the way, the white foamy substance you see on the vocal folds uh, is a sticky mucus, uh, which is a sad result of me having had a cold for the few days prior to recording this. Uh, but it's exactly the sort of thing that voice users have to put up with. We're just going to move to somebody else's larynx at this point in order to see a pitch siren from the bottom to the top of the range. And notice how the vocal folds will lengthen as they get stretched in order to produce the higher pitch. And you'll then see them pop into falsetto right at the top register. Let's have a look at different ways of starting the sound, called onsets. Firstly, we have the glottal onset. Now this is where the vocal folds are brought together first of all, and then they're allowed to start beating as the air starts to flow, which gives it that click at the start of the sound. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Next we have the simultaneous onset. Now this is where the vocal folds are brought together at exactly the same time as the air starts to flow, giving a very gentle onset to the sound. Ah, ah. 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 Finally, the aspirate onset. This is where the vocal folds are brought together after the air has already started to flow, giving the characteristic ha at the beginning of the sound. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Let's look at tone production. So first of all, we'll hear a clear tone, where the vocal folds are beaten together in a very efficient pattern. We'll then look at a breathy tone, where there's lots of air coming up there in a very inefficient way of using the voice. And then we'll find we'll look at creak tone, where the vocal folds are beating together very irregularly. Now let's have a look at constriction in the larynx. This is where the false vocal folds come in over the top of the true vocal folds, interfering with their vibration and creating a strained sound. Uh... Now compare that with a good sound that has no constriction in it. Uh... 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 
And of course, having that amount of constriction in your larynx is a very easy way to wreck your voice. Now let's take a look at getting louder and softer. Here you'll notice large amounts of muscular activity as the vocal folds are getting fatter and more effort is being used to bring them together. What you won't see is any false fold constriction here. That's because I'm doing it right. And finally, let's put it all together and look at what happens when you sing. She can kill with a smile, she can wound with her eyes. She can ruin your faith with her casual eyes. And she only reveals what she wants you to see. She hides like a child, but she's always a woman to me. Not a great performance, but I was lying on my back having a camera up my nose and down my throat at the time. Thanks for watching and listening. For a fuller explanation of everything you've seen in this video, please see Chapter 2 of Inside the Voice.